Hello and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about SolidWorks Visualize Professional 2019 and some of the new features available. We're going to look specifically at the physics simulation. So when I select a model here, like let's say the sink, I now have available to me the physics tab. In this case, I'm going to set the sink to utilize the static simulation because it's just going to sit there and what I want to do is make it so that the mugs fall into the sink. I'm then going to choose a collider geometry of mesh so that way when the mugs fall into the sink, they'll fall as closely to the bottom of it instead of the actual bounding box of that model. Now I need to find my mugs. Well, my tree here is pretty large, so let's use the search function. I just have to type in mug, and it should show my mug models here in my tree. And then I'm going to just multiple select a couple of them. I want to make sure I'm grabbing the right ones. Once they're selected, I'll then move them over the sink to where I want to drop them inside of it. And while they're selected, I'll go access my new physics tab and select their physics simulation type to dynamic since they're going to be dropping down into the sink. I can change things like static friction, dynamic friction, elasticity, and I'll drop the mass down here a little bit. And I want to be sure that these are also using the mesh collider geometry. Then in the manager down here, I'll just have to press play to toggle the simulation. And I can see my mugs drop into the sink in a realistic fashion. If they're not really in the place that I want, I can use the shake button to give them just a little bit of a nudge and see where else they lie. I can reset the simulation, I can stop it, pause it, and I can record it for later use if I want. So once the simulation has finished recording, I simply have to press the stop button and it allows me to utilize that recorded video for editing and later use in my project. Thank you for watching. If you have any further questions, please contact us at the information below.